So hey guys, and welcome back to Born Traveller. Right, in this video, I'm going to give you an orientation of Kanakale in Turkey. It's the gateway to Troy and the Gallipoli Anzac sites. Okay, let's get started. So this is the hotel I'm stopping in. It's the Atoll Troya Hotel. Uh, it costs around uh, $12 a night, although that's probably heavily dif discounted because of COVID. It's probably normally about probably 20 So this is really, really good value. Uh, there's good Wi-Fi and amazing breakfast as well um, that is included. So that's the hotel and then if you turn around that's the terminal so literally the ferries go from there. So I am really right in the centre of everything you want to be near. So we're going to walk now down to the uh, terminal and I'll give you some more um, information about what's around it. So if you turn right here just on the right hand side down here there's a supermarket small one um, there's no sock uh, sok which is the normal supermarket you come across there isn't many supermarkets in this area you have to walk a little bit so this is like the main square and i'll say it's like the pier but there's the terminal this here is a museum that's normally open that you can have a look around around uh, about gallipoli unfortunately as you can see you'll see in a second it's closed it's not been open the whole time i've been here um, which is quite frustrating, COVID-19. I don't know why, obviously, because it's so small, I assume they've decided to close it. But basically, the whole thing's closed, you're not allowed to go in. So It's not big, but it looks like it's an interactive. You walk in, and then you come round, and obviously it's got a lot of some information. So if you do want to do the Gallipoli Islands, you just basically go through this terminal here. It costs five, five lira, and it's half an hour boat trip to the islands. From there, you can get taxis and stuff, or book a tour around, around the Gallipoli Island see all the Anzac sites. I've decided not to do the Gallipoli right now because everything's closed so maybe later in my trip I've probably got to come back to Istanbul at some point and it's only a six hour bus ride and I do like this little town so I might come back one day and, and do it again. So from the boat terminal if you turn left and you walk down the pier there's lots of good restaurants on this left hand side here and then there's a beautiful spot here that you can catch the sunset and I'll show you some footage now. So the sun kind of drops over there, so it's really beautiful. I'd recommend this restaurant here. There's no real name to it, but this big one here. They've got an English menu if you ask for it. So this is on the beachfront. It's Napoli Pizza. And I think the prices are pretty good. You get half a pizza, uh, chicken, coke and chips for 22, which works out around, well, it's, it's just under four dollars. Food here actually is surprisingly cheap to say it's a tourist destination. Even on the front, it's not actually that expensive. You can get a beer for around 18 lira. Um, and I'll show you a couple places. Tea, you can sit on the front and drink tea for two, 2.5 lira. So the price actually for food and drink is actually really reasonable. So if we continue walking this way, um, eventually you'll see in the distance, you'll start to see naval shit. Uh, there's a naval museum which again looks really cool, but guess what? It's closed. So a lot of the sites in Kanakau are completely closed. So there's the Naval Museum there. And if you just walk straight through that restaurant and just come out the other side, that's where the entrance is. And you, obviously you can go in there. Again, it's closed though. Right, I'm gonna walk back down the pier now and show you where the Troy horse is. And as we walk around here, you'll be able to see in a minute, there's the Trojan horse. This one here is actually from the movie, from the Troy movie from 2004 with Brad Pitt in it. This is the, this is the exact one they used in the movie. Uh, and it is quite impressive. I'm really impressed to see this. I, I quite like it. When you actually look at it, it, it is actually believable that people could hide in something like this. And it could have been pulled on, on, these, like, on these pulleys. So, you know, the story of Troy, I'm not saying it's definitely real, but um, it's plausible. And right next to the pier entrance, you've got this place here. This is the Truvia bus uh, ticket um, office and just at the back of there are some seats and you can book uh, tickets to all over Turkey. I'm going to Izmir but as you can see there's quite a few different destinations you can go to and the buses actually go from here which is really handy because it's two kilometers to the bus station from here and also it is actually quite difficult to get on the bus here because I'm not used public transport at all here because the card wouldn't work. Uh, I couldn't register my card to get uh, with my HES code to get uh, like a travel card, like in like the Istanbul card in uh, in Istanbul. So that was a bit frustrating. So th the fact you can get the bus directly from here is really handy. It costs 125 lira to go 
uh, for six hours to Izmir, which is not bad. So there's the terminal again, and if you come here, there's a row of, of uh, ATMs. Having said that, though, I wouldn't recommend using any of these banks. The only two banks you can really use is FINA and HSBC. The rest of these charge you a fortune. I'm talking, you take $200 out, they'll charge you $15 to take that money out. So, so let's just break down kind of care for you. Okay, so your hotel should cost around $10, $15 a night, but make sure it's got the all-inclusive breakfast in it because here, uh, you can save yourself quite a lot of money if you eat the breakfast because they are quite extensive. Water costs about one lira, 1.5 lira for a small bottle. Uh, I just recommend going to one of the supermarkets and just buying the 10 litre because you get a fridge in most of your hotels to stick it in there and then fill your water up there as you need. You can get dinner as cheap as like 15 lira, which is about $2, ranging up to about 60 um, without a drink. I'd say beer is around 18 lira, and then obviously other beer, other things are going to be more expensive from there. Plenty of ATMs everywhere, you get money out quite easily. Uh, HSBC isn't here, so you're going to have to use Fina Bank, um, so definitely. Um, you can get your hair cut quite easily, there's lots of shops. Um, there is a little bit of shopping if you need to replace anything. Uh, there is actually like electronical stores and, and things like that, so shopping here is actually very localised and very easy to get to access things to see is uh i'd say the two main things to see here is kanakale itself here the actual pier and then the gallipoli islands to see the all the uh, you know the anzac um sites and i think then the third thing is the ancient city of troy which is 15 minute walk to the bus station and then uh, uh basically a 40 minute ride each way and it's very easy if you want to watch the video as i say you can uh, I really enjoy my time at Troy and I really recommend that's probably the best thing to do here. So if you ride by bus, it's actually really easy to get here. Uh, when you get to the bus station, just go out the front and there'll be a little bus stop. And on the front of the bus, it'll say terminal and it'll bring you to the ferry terminal. It's around, I think it was 12 lira. It's not a lot of money anyway. You probably already got your SIM card in Istanbul, but if you haven't, uh, I would recommend getting Vodafone. And there's quite a few Vodafone shops around Kanakao, just, uh, just search for them or just ask somebody. It's really easy to find. Um, and uh, basically for like 52 lira you get 16 gigs of data and that will last you around uh, I think it's a month it's valid for so it's not too bad there's the terminal and this is the main street they call this shopping street basically this is where all the shops are there's McDonald's on the left which some people might be interested in sometimes I am uh, and there's basically just clothes shops just normal shops I wouldn't say there's anything too impressive there's no big supermarkets or anything like that but like I say, for things you need, it's pretty good. And then to the right, there's more like, uh, there's more kind of a, like a precinct, like over there. I think my last tip would be try and come in the week, try and come between Monday and Friday, because it's certainly gonna be easier to get a hotel and it'll be cheaper um, and there'll be a lot less crowded. So guys, if you really want to help my channel out, it's still quite small. I've only got 800 subscribers and I'm near that magical thousand. So if you really, really enjoy this video, a sub would be great. That'd be fantastic, thank you. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please remember to subscribe, turn on the notification button, and I'll see you next time.